Hello guys. Welcome to our YouTube tutorial PLC program. And uh, today we have uh, an example of a traffic light. We want to write a program that controls traffic light over two way. So basically the most important thing in um, PLC programming is all about understanding the process. And here the process is uh, controlling traffic lights. And basically you have three indicators that is red um, yellow and uh, and green which indicates go so you want to sequence those three indicators such that we start with red then yellow then green then from green again red then yellow then green so it will be a loop it will be continuous so the moment you press a start button then the process uh, it will be infinite you know it will run forever so basically we are gonna use uh, on delay timers in our previous video we have covered uh, uh, these timers so you can go back and watch those videos if you are not well versed with on delay timers and off delay timers but basically for this we're gonna use um, on delay timers so the first thing is just come here and write a program I have uh, the first network network one that will be my main supply and basically here I will have the latching circuit nothing complicated so let's start by programming a latching circuit so I start by dragging a start push button So don't worry about this timers here, I've just uh, added them because... Uh, so here you can define this tag in your PLC tags, but I have it defined already, so I will just select. So this will be my start button. Then next time we'll uh, add the stop push button. So define this tag too. This is stop push button. So select stop push button. Then finally I'll have a coil. This will represent uh, main supply. That will be your first output. So we have uh, this one here. This is uh, main supply. So that's it. Then we have to pro provide a latching or a holding. So. Just introduce our holding here at the start push button. Normally open. So define this tag, but this tag is just uh, it's like what is called uh, a memory bit so just select main supply that's all we need there so that's the latching circuit so then network 2 I'll have the red light or red indicator so I just want to make it simple this red light will be only activated when there is main supply so the first thing to add here is main supply that's normally open this again will act like a memory bit so select main supply good then i'll have my coil that will represent the red indicator So let me say this is the red indicator, just red light, 
remember you have to define these tags then this is your on delay timer you have to set your present time i mean the preset time for now here is 10 seconds let me make it uh, 20 seconds Uh, let me make it 20 seconds so that's it i want to do something here but i will explain later so i want to introduce a branch here the reason i'm introducing this branch is because it will help me with the uh, interlocks then I just drag this timer down here yeah drag the timer to that branch then here because I want this red light to be activated by timer so I will introduce a normally open here normally open then give it a memory bit of uh, the first timer mm, check that again yeah yeah you have to check this also make it queue the output because you are using the the timer coil so that's all still no interlocks introduced here so that means that when this main supply is activated this timer will be activated so that means that uh, this red light will be on for the pres prescribed time so that's all then next we have to go to network 3 that's the amber light or the the yellow light so again here just you must start with the, the main supply define this tag as your main supply just select main supply from your plc tags then i have an output which represent the yellow light of the yellow indicator define this tag too so introduce the branch here then drag your timer there then introduce normally open select that time make Q so that's all there guys then the last part is uh, the the green light that is network 4 so introduce main supply how to delete one select main supply good a coil to represent the green indicator good then let's introduce the branch then drag the timer down there
good then introduce normally open this is just a representation of the timer nice so you you know when i try to run this program this one you know what will happen it means that all the indicators will be activated at the same time and the loop will not be continuous so to make this thing work i'll have to introduce interlocks by interlocking i mean that uh, when uh, for instance when uh, the yellow light is on then i don't want any other indicator to be on i don't want the red light to be on i don't want the green light to be on likewise when uh, green light is on i don't want any other light to be on so basically that is the aspect of interlocking like for example let's start introducing interlocking with yellow light for instance the thing is that i don't want this yellow light to be activated when red light is on so i need to introduce a normally normally closed here i need to introduce normally closed normally closed by introducing normally closed that means that uh, when red light is on this normally closed will be normally open and there will be no continuity here that means this timer will not be activated so this yellow light will be off so that's the importance of interlocking so select red light that's it guys also you can introduce the green light because at the same time we don't want yellow light to be on when green light is on so you can basically introduce the yellow light here let's do that another interlock let's call it yellow light select yellow light from your plc tags yeah that's it so that's all so that means that this yellow light can't be on when oh sorry this is supposed to be green light not yellow light so i have to delete it it's supposed to be green light yeah so that means this yellow light can't be on when red light and green lights are on so both of them must be off for yellow light to be on so the same interlock i want to introduce here in network 4 so this green light should be on only when red light and yellow lights are off so i need to introduce the interlock here for that so introduce normally closed name this as uh, let's say this is the red light so select red nice then uh, again you can introduce the yellow light so you're not giving room for any kind of error so select yellow light here so that's it guys so what about a network 2 we have network 2 here that is uh, the red light how do we introduce interlocks here this red light should be off i mean the first interlock i will introduce here is the yellow interlock so i don't want the red light to be on when the yellow light is on so select yellow light but i want it to be a loop like the moment there's i mean the moment uh, the time elapses for 
for green light i want red light to start immediately so it's kind of a loop so i'm giving it alternative right alternative way to activate the the timer so that means i will introduce an or function here so just introduce a branch here then normally open yeah so here this will be green light you want a loop an infinite loop you know so select green light you know this means that you know when supply is on so they'll be continued up to this point but remember yellow light is let's say that yellow light is on so this will be off so when this is off there's not continuity here but when green light is activated when the green light is activated this will be normally closed and it will try to activate this timer again so let's check this is this supposed to this supposed to be normally closed for obvious reasons let's check this is supposed to be normally closed Check this it's supposed to be normally closed. If you leave them as normally open, there will be malfunction. You'll realize that it's a good thing you can try it, then you can rectify it later. You realize why I'm I'm changing this to normally closed. Select normally closed. So let's normally closed so what will happen here let's do this now let's uh, do simulation so the first thing just come here and uh, start simulation start simulation then we wait and uh, we try to explain what we see by simulation by simulating this So you have this here so just load this program so download you can see that so you have the simulator here i'm using step 7 300 but it's fine you can use step 7 1200 or step 7 1500 So the next thing is to go online. So come here, press this button here. Select this, go online. This then check the status of your CPU. So let's go online then. I will show you the status of this CPU here. So come here, expand this window. So I have it here, you see just just wait a, a little bit yeah so the the green light this one checks that the main program is okay cpu is fine program blocks fine system configuration fine so that's it then after that i'll just now run this cpu so come to your simulating module plc then run take it to run mode right check that box to run mode and after that we want to monitor our inputs and outputs so you see this here mm -hmm. this guy here press this one we want to check to monitor our inputs and outputs so this is it so let's go back to network one
Yeah, yeah, it's our network one main supply. Yep, so you can see that the green light, this one indicates continuity of power flow. Then the blue, the dotted line, this, you see this? This means there's no continuity here. So no continuity, basically. So by latching, I mean that when you press this push button, the start push button, and it's a momentarily uh, switched, you know. So, and you release your finger. That means that this circuit will remain activated. That is the latch. No. So, let's scroll this program. To network to the red light, you can see that basically there is no output here or indicator of the red light. It's not activated yet because the timer is not activated. Likewise, in the network 3, the yellow light, also not activated because timer is not activated. Likewise, with network 4, the green light, also you see this is not activated for obvious reasons because the main supply is not activated yet. So what will happen, we'll start by network 1. So let's activate this. Let's activate the push button so come here and check this box 0, 0.0 that is our first input start push button so you see there's continuity here so and you can see the red light is on for 20 seconds it's supposed to be on for 20 seconds uh, just a minute Let's go slowly. I need to understand this. Yeah, after 20 seconds, this stuff should be off. I know. 20 seconds allowing the other road to be busy, you know. So 20 seconds. Let's wait for 20 seconds. Now it's 15 seconds. Just check the other network. Still off. Then immediately after 20 seconds, the other one peaks. Yeah, you can see the yellow light, the yellow, the yellow peaks for only eight seconds. Get ready, then go. The green light. The green light is supposed to peak for. Let me see. Oh, I will change this one. The green light is supposed to peak for five seconds. That's way low. So this should be activated. Let me see what's happening here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. 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 So there's a problem, guys. Because we see that uh, this continuity up to this point. Hmm. But this red light. What's happening? So again, yellow light, oh, yellow light is on. Oh, right, right, right. When yellow light is on, red light should, uh, red light is supposed to be off. But it shows otherwise. It shows that red light is on. Really, let's check the problem. Come back to network 2. Yeah, at this point, red light should be off. That is true. Hmm. Okay. Let's wait and check, confirm the behavior again. Okay, that's supposed to be on for 20 seconds. Okay, let's go to yellow. It should be on for 8 seconds. So let's. After 8 seconds, let's wait. Yeah. Now for 8 seconds, they should be activated. 
green light after 8 seconds mm -hmm. let's see what's happening here oh I see then it goes back to so we have a problem here it goes back to to red light red light is on again so it goes back to red light without activating the the green light right yeah 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 sure so that's the mistake we have made there so let's cross check our program again so the problem was here we don't need the the red light interlock here to mess up with everything here so just remove it and your program will work as supposed to be so let's check this again so main program then let's stop this stop this okay fine then start push button the main, main supply is activated as well as the red light red light is supposed to be on for 20 seconds so it is on that's 14 seconds 16 yellow light is supposed to be off at that time and then yellow light is activated 6 seconds after that the green light is supposed to be on for only 5 seconds on which I'm supposed to change that then after that back to back to red light yeah so it's supposed to be a continuous loop so basically that's how you design or implement a traffic light over two way two way road so guys that's all about this video in our next video we'll try to